Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our Animal Crossing Let's Play here on Callan and also our last day of the uh, full week of Let's Play episodes. Today should be Sunday it, or you know whenever else you're watching this but today is going to be the last day. After that we'll continue regularly with a new episode every Tuesday and every second Monday plus maybe here or there we could do some additional episodes for whenever we go like uh, fish catching or, or buck catching because those aren't like the most popular episodes but I would still like to do those because they're quite fun to uh, to film for me. So for the last day, I thought we should do something a little special. And in the last few episodes, you know, we have actually been making a little bit of progress around our own house. And just yesterday, the episode went up where I started implementing coconut trees and y'all seem to love it. So I'm very happy about that. Um, some of you also were kind of sad about like removing some of the pink, but we're still going to like have pink, right? So there's still going to be pink here and there, just maybe not quite as much. Or, you know, we sometimes might just try and focus a little bit more on the white and blue. I also might return and like try and get maybe some some planks. I know that I have like this little, uh, these like little planks here, but maybe actually one of those decks could be like a fun idea, especially when it comes to maybe uh, Daisy's like laundry area or something like that. Um, and then I do believe we're gonna have to get rid of some stuff. Um, but you know, like we don't need, uh, we don't need the eyebrows saved. I don't know if we're gonna use these after all. And I don't need like the baby hair saved either. And so I think we can still get rid of some stuff and probably have some room. Anyway, back to today though, I thought maybe we could work a little bit on our spa uh, resort type of thing. So this is what it currently looks like. Not too much like a spa moment, if you ask me. Uh, and then the plan was to have kind of like this as the spa reception. And the upstairs is gonna be like my own apartment. And then I guess like all the rooms around it are gonna be some type of uh, activity. It doesn't need to be spa activities in terms of like yoga and like, uh, I, I don't know, what other stuff do you even do? Get like massages or anything like that. It could be like a painting class. But basically this is supposed to be kind of that like reception. Now I like to use uh, the Room Sketch app for whenever I do my own interiors because I can pretty much use anything that I've ever owned or had on the Happy Home Paradise thing. You get this when you decorate 33 houses on there. Uh, so we're going to do that, but the only thing that it doesn't quite do is it doesn't kind of show you where you have your like door. So obviously we've got the one here that's centered and then the one in the back as well. We have the one on the left and right with like uh, one tile spacing and then there is like a window um, that is kind of like a one, one tile away from the from the wall as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in there right now and we're gonna prepare the room so that we can kind of decorate it the way that it would be for us. And then once we've done that, I can like go back in and actually, you know, acquire all those items. All right, so I'm gonna go with like this wooden hallway and then I believe the size is eight by eight. Plus for today, I think I might put on some lo-fi music. Okay, there we go. So we got some Animal Crossing lo-fi music. Uh, the room is eight by eight, so I just checked on that again. Okay, so let's see the lighting. I just changed the lighting and I didn't, that wasn't great. So we're gonna, we're gonna turn this off again. Alrighty, so let's just put in like a regular flooring and wallpaper so we kind of can picture this a tiny bit better. I think it usually comes with like this white simple cloth. I think this is what it starts out with, right? Okay. And then I like to use, as long as I've got those, the glow in the dark stickers. There we go. Um, I like to use those with either like a pattern um, of like the a blanket or just like a blank one uh, on it to kind of mark off my doors and everything. So we're going to do that. So the first one is exactly here in the center and then we're going to grab this and do this on the other side as well so the same thing here one tile away from the wall so this is going to be the door the window unfortunately is in this one uh but it's much further to the side so the window would kind of be like here i think that is the window and then i think the spacing on this is actually in a way Oh, you, okay, so you you have like a little bit more room. Okay, just to kind of, you know, keep that in mind, the window would be somewhere here. Not as big, but still. Uh, and then let's move this all the way over to the other side. Same thing, pretty much. This is the door. And then uh, this over here, I believe, should be 
the window. Okay, move that down half a tile. There we go. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the restrictions we unfortunately got for the main room. Now, I actually found two pictures that I will show you on the screen right now when I looked for like a spa reception that I think are very cute for um, for what I have planned. And I think I would try to maybe do something like that. So I was thinking, you know, we could have some type of like a counter. We'll keep this mostly blue and white and probably like a little bit of beige. I feel like there might be some cute like floorings. Um, I think this natural one is actually quite pretty or we can go for maybe something more like this. Uh, we can obviously also opt for something that's even more blue or white, but I think I think I quite like the natural flooring, maybe for like the spa, and then we can work with a couple of rug uh, rugs as well to kind of balance that out. Um, this can always be changed in the future as well. Oh, see the Moroccan art tile is also quite pretty. So we could also return to this at some point uh, and change that if we wanted to. We do have some carpet uh, options. This is just the room sketch one. But for now, I think I'll go for the natural flooring and then I would love to work with maybe an accent wall here. Uh, I have like no idea really where this is gonna go. I mean, we could go for like, oh yeah. I mean, white or blue painted would be pretty, pretty cute. I think blue painted would be nice. I'm not sure I love that with the floor now, but like I said, we can always go back and change it. Um, white brick would also be an option. I always love using this one for sure. I've used this in probably like too many of my interiors, if we're honest, <laughs> but I quite like the white brick. Um, these I think have too much of a bathroom vibe for me. Also, wait, I should bring my camera over. Yeah, let's go over here today. Sorry about that. But yeah, I'll cover like most of the stuff. So that's not really good. Okay, this is better. Um, yeah, I think these like subway tiles are not really the vibe because they feel like a little bit too um, bathroomy also for me. Maybe same for this. I thought this might be like kind of cute, the botanical tile, but I'm not sure I love that. Uh, simple cloth wall, I think is maybe too simple. The blue striped is kind of cute also. I did decorate like a kid's room with the striped wallpaper ones. So that's kind of just reminds me of that. But you know, I definitely like this. I think we're probably going to use this for like some of the villager interiors 100%. Not sure if like for the spa though. Oh, you know what? We can also maybe work with like a view in one of the other rooms. I don't have a window code though. And I guess I would need like a window code. So maybe not, <laughs> but just just as like a potential potential little thing. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll return to like the wooden, the wooden one up here. I thought this was actually quite pretty. Um, and then maybe we just do like a white painted accent wall on one hand, on the one hand side. Plus maybe let me try. I don't know. I just feel like this is a little too obvious. Okay. We'll return to the uh, natural flooring. Yep. Natural flooring. There we go for now. And then I think I would like to have a counter like that too. I think it would be very, very pretty if we do a counter and there are like a couple of different options for us here. Okay, here are the counters. So um, we have an arched reception, a counter table or this like singular checkout counter. I don't think the diner one is quite the vibe and I feel like this one might just be generally a little bit too tall. Although I also quite like this. Um, yeah, but that might be like a little bit. That also reminds me of my winter island. Okay, so let's see. This one definitely comes in either this like white marble kind of uh, customization or also this, which I think is quite cute. I like the reception counter. Um, it comes in like, it comes in a blue, but I don't love the blue. Or it comes kind of in this light wood, which I also think might be kind of cute. I have a feeling the lighting here is currently very weird. Uh, and then this one, also comes in this like light brown and white customization or completely white or this one, which is also quite nice. See, these two have kind of a similar vibe, although the why are the wood shades so different? That is really weird. Um, And the other option, I mean, we could obviously do like a desk and the other option would be kind of like a counter thing like this, um, which I also am not opposed to. Now, these also come in like different customizations. I, sh I need to unlock them though, if I want to use them. 
um but potentially like that could be an option you know uh and then maybe like a lower piece here actually that's kind of cute and then maybe we can use some of this somewhere else as well all right i mean what if this is just like the behind the scenes kind of reception maybe it even would work if like this is kind of a backdrop kind of part you know um or of course i always love to use those um partition things oh yeah something like this so the tension pole rack you know like that would be pretty pretty awesome i also just get, got out the bookshelf because like this in the white customization is pretty fantastic and I mean, let's be honest, the magazine stand is also pretty nice. I think we're going to go for like the ivory. I like that in front of the counter, but I, you know, you couldn't even like use the counter anymore. So like it would have to be somewhere else. Uh, this is not the window. So like maybe it could also just be on this side or something. And then um, I'd love to have maybe this like relaxing area over here to the left. So what about a bookshelf? I do also want to try because I like using the pillars sometimes to frame certain things. And it is kind of a nice fit with, with this right here. Plus, let me just see if maybe I can use either the party garland or uh, something else to kind of, you know, add like a little, little bit of a decorative aspect here. Oh, I mean, hello. See, I don't think that fits quite over there, but we can definitely utilize that one somewhere. Maybe because it's a spa, it could either be like the stars in white, or I would also try the dried flower garland. See, that fits much nicer in terms of the height. And then this one in white might also be an option. So stars above it, or we can try to do the flower garland. Maybe like that. We'll see. Okay, we'll remove the counters for now, and then uh, we'll definitely need some type of like sofa moment over there. Uh, so maybe let me figure out some some sofa stuff that I like. I would like to have the Moroccan footrest. I think that's that's quite um, awesome. And then I mean, we can definitely go in with like wooden stools and simple stools and all that kind of stuff later on. All right, I quite like the Nordic sofa. Now this one comes in a couple of different options. We can do blue with like maybe a, with like a fabric coat on top of it, maybe like checkered, you know, or I also quite like the vintage sofa. This one also only has like a couple of predetermined customizations though. But kind of this is cute. Or we'll just put together like a few armchairs or something. I also like this one here um we could do this in like a solid color solid blue solid white you know okay let me move the magazine thing out of the way all right so either it could be actually like put up against the bookshelf here um there is a window on this side like right there so it could also be put underneath the window that actually kind of does remind me of my winter island i don't know <laughs> Maybe it's not the best. Okay, what about if we have more shelving going on there? I think these I would want to have in white. Okay, one thing at a time, right? That's uh, something I like to sometimes uh, do is to get completely distracted and work on a, a bunch of different things. So one thing at a time. Alrighty, so counter table, background thing. What about the medium wooden partition? Oh, definitely like a coat hanger could be cute for like a reception. Uh, we're going to add plans. You know it. We're definitely going to add plans. Plan partition, also kind of a cute idea maybe, but um, we're going to have to see. Like this is this is also just like a potential item for, for later on. So we're going to put that there. Um, okay, this one in white as well. Or it comes in a blue, but I feel like since we've got that wall as a blue wallpaper for right now, at least. You know, and then maybe that here. Or the other way around. I just thought about like blocking the room in the back, but I feel like we pro we have enough ideas, right? Because I'm not sure I love um, how this is like turning out right now. I think it's like a good start. I just don't like the way these, these come up to like all the way to the side. Um, if I do this though, I'm once again, I have this urge to like do a pillar in the count in the corner there, but then it's very double with the other side, you know? 
and it would have to be white. You know, I just did this like reception or like a ticket counter kind of built on my uh, like botanical garden island. And I feel like I'm constantly trying to to almost like reference that one. So like, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I could, I don't have to stay away from, from those, uh, from those things I decorated there. Right. So I was just thinking like a sign up here also would maybe be, uh, not be the, not be the worst. And then I, I, I do believe that probably influences the decorating around the back part of this, you know, cause like then I wouldn't want to have these tall shelves, but, um, the sign could be like a good idea and then it comes in like well we could do white but um you know and then maybe it has the schedule again or it comes in brown which i quite like i don't know what we would keep though yeah the customizations for this might not be good because i think whatever we do you know it's just gonna look like a little bit awkward yeah, no, I think that looks a little bit awkward. Um, okay, well, baby, what if we are actually like a bit more high tech and we've got like a monitor? Because these I think can like adapt and have like a couple of other things. Okay, it comes in white. That's good. And then it has like a drink, fast food, dinner, ice cream, time tab table or service numbers. Okay, nothing, nothing great. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, that could be awesome if, you know, there's some drinks. But I'm not sure I'm liking that vibe. What about this? Oh my god, not the security footage. Hello? Oh, this does have a custom design uh, option. Okay. Error screen, sports. So what about this one having the timetable? What would that look like? Not great. <laughs> okay, well... You know, the option would stand that this is, this is, a. Uh... no, I don't like them. I don't like them. That's, that's, that's that. Honestly, you could do this drapery, um, obviously also with like a custom design or something, but then again, I think the back part of it wouldn't work at all. Hmm. I quite like the magazine stand kind of by this counter. I can't really deny that, but um, I think we have to get rid of the lower counter then and maybe have these. So you could like just walk to the side here, you know, and get your service kind of over there. Um, is there maybe some more like filing cabinet or something going on? Or maybe is this back part, the accent wall, and then that's gonna be like the brick that I like? Oh, wow. Okay, then stuff has to be changed for sure. This could come in blue. No, I don't like that. I wish sometimes I could just be like, oh, no, go backwards, please go backwards. I don't like this. <laughs> but that's not an option in Animal Crossing, which kind of sucks. Like, undo, please undo. Okay, uh, so we had the blue painted wood wall. And then this here was the white one, correct? I think this is what we had it. Yes. All right. Well, no, not not done yet. Let's continue. I don't think I like the drapery then. So we're going to get rid of this for now. Okay. And then, I mean, the iron hanger stand, if we use it, it's definitely going to be customized. So let's already kind of do that one. And then um, we'll just have like, yeah, like a checkered little print on it. Okay. I don't hate that position, honestly. Um, But, you know, depends on kind of this like hangout area that we're trying to create over there um and then plus we need to figure out some more like decorations for the front here but um since it's kind of like a spa it could also just hold like a couple of couple of plants or something like that um right so you know there's a couple more like wardrobe uh, options or you know simple small dresser could be an option in like a different customization um or just like a like a chair with a plant on top of it yeah, these could also be like behind the scenes kind of counters, but I almost think those should be a little bit taller. So the rattan wardrobe is quite cute. I know that this is, uh, this also has the ability to have something put on top of it. So I always kind of like it for that. Okay. For against this, it would have to be white. Probably it doesn't look quite right as a reception. It really looks like a wardrobe for clothing, you know? Okay. There's like a short file cabinet. And there's this tall one. What is, oh yeah, okay. So this does come in like the right colors. That kind of would be fun, maybe. 
Yeah, or maybe not. Or would this be somewhere here? You know, that also would be kind of nice. Or it would be with the pillars on both sides. So those are kind of like symmetrical things. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to check for like the different um, pillars and counters. Could be cute, but could be catastrophic too. <laughs> You know, it. I don't know. It's not. Um, it might not be the 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 best option, but we might run with it for a second here, because uh, I feel like this might be a, a decent decent option considering everything. Alrighty. So, what else could we move in here? Um, not sure. This would be like the divider kind of moment. Um, I mean, we can definitely put like a shell partition to incorporate just that decorating inside as well. So you can tell it's coastal. Wouldn't want you to forget that, you know? <laughs> so that could kind of work. I don't think it'll be the shell arch because this is not, that's not really it, is it? Although let me try something. What if I put this like actually here? I mean, as a decorative, uh, as like a, as like a way to decorate that, honestly, not the worst, but I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I am not feeling it. All right. Well, um, this divider is quite cute, but I'm also not sure about it. Oh, I mean, you know what we can also do? We can do this back area as kind of like a little um, storage area. You know, we could still decorate it, but kind of hide it from like the general public. Probably to the other side, but so you can only slip in here from like the... Um, from like the behind the scenes kind of part like this. Maybe. Oh, a rocket lamp. A rocket lamp in this. <laughs> no, probably not. But, what, you know, it was worth a try maybe for like a split second. I like the paper lantern, but I'm not sure. I think that doesn't come in a customization I like. No. Um, but we can maybe do this for like reading purposes. Back here somewhere. Oh, some music would be nice, but probably with the um, option of like a record player that's like a miscellaneous item. Yeah, I wanna be careful about my house having not like not too much pink actually. Oh my God, or imagine we already do like this like, giant like square bathtub here for like the ultimate, the ultimate like resort spa type vibes. But no, I don't, <laughs> I don't think so. Not quite yet. Okay, we've definitely got some plants in here. We will revisit those because we absolutely will need those. And I mean, it could be it could be fun to have just a couple of uh, little little details, you know, like the wooden uh, waste basket or something, waste bin with like the white wood customization here. That could also be like maybe just another plant though. And maybe some some boxes could also be put here that are like from the storage in the back or something. I think these are too large. But what about like small cardboard boxes? I quite do like those usually. So that's a potential, potential for later. Um, yeah, and then I don't know, I want to have, I think the mop is cute. I want to have some type of like sign as though that is the timetable for, you know, whatever kind of spa things are going on that week. Um, but it could be like a just a sign the way that we did outside, like in front of the house. Yeah, maybe this is like in the behind the scenes part. I'm looking forward to decorating that room. I think the back room as this like storage kind of, maybe we can put like a laundry, kind of tiny laundry area in there as though they're like washing the towels on site, you know? Um, and we could put like the whiteboard in there so they keep track of their entire, uh, of their entire um, like timetable stuff. We can also put the mop in there probably. That might be like a better idea. Yeah, so I mean, we've got the poster stand. This one is also quite a cute idea. Um, I believe we might need a specific custom design for it though, because, um, this, this like bulletin board type of thing that we've got going on here definitely doesn't work. I think it works outside, but it definitely doesn't work on these, but this could be an option. There's also the standing shop sign, which comes, I mean, just in silver and not really the most ideal customizations. And there is this, but it just has like the predetermined things on it. And it says dessert which is great, 
but probably not exactly what I want. I don't know if this is enough room to maybe have like a cork board or something because the cork board, we can definitely put those customization uh, like post-it notes on. Okay, drink machines, we could do this more urban style. That's not really cute though. Is it? I kind of, I don't know. Do I maybe not hate it? I don't want to put an ABD in because we're not, it's not about those vibes, right? And I feel like apart from the drink machine, there is a snack machine too, but I'm not, I don't know if I like that the same amount and I don't seem to have it either. So uh, yeah, let me look up the customizations on the snack machine. Okay, snack machine would also come in a white customization and it is two tiles wide, whereas I think this one is just one tile wide. So, you know, I mean, instead of this being doubly, we could also have this be like a snack corner. Hold on, so I guess this would be that. I need to shift some stuff around. And then there'd be like a snack machine next to it. Hmm. I'm just not sure if that ruins the coastal, like romantic coastal retreat vibes. I feel like that might be taking it a step too far into the direction of like urban. Although I will say that the general idea of it, I really like. Yeah, I don't know. I might return this to the bookshelf. I don't know. Let me know if like you would have thought maybe that that's a good idea. I kind of don't think I'll go that direction for right now, but um, I don't know. Maybe the symmetrical thing is also not great. I don't know if any of the stuff I want, maybe like a bird cage. <laughs> See, the bird cage could be just like a cute, a fun, a, a cute friend, cute friend of ours, you know? No, they need to fly free. I'm not going to keep them in a little cage like that. <laughs> All right, we also have the candy machine, you know, that could be added to the urban style thing. And then I mean, yoga mat and ex exercise ball and all that kind of stuff could be like in a different in a different room for sure. There's just a lot of stuff that won't really work out here. Um, oh God, so much good like storage stuff for sure. Okay, I don't know. See, this is the sign that we have outside, which I do really like there, but um, I'm not quite certain that this will come out the same way, like inside, you know? It might just, oh no, not the, not the eyebrow pattern on it, please. Please, this one here. Um, I like the customization on it, but it's just not gonna be for, for in here, I think, because you, you still need to stand somewhere, you know? Um, now I'd love to use, I know the like angled signposts and everything like those are kind of cute. I was thinking about like building this type of reception in my botanical garden, like in my house as well. And then I was like, um, it's going to have like different plant uh, exhibits and different rooms, I think. So I was thinking about using these to kind of point you in the direction of like whatever course is like on that day or in that room. Um, but you know, what like customization would you even use? Yeah, that's too messy looking. Nuh-uh, nuh-uh. Still need to figure out that back corner. I do believe that the idea of having it be this like hangout spot, you can wait for your like appointment or whatever it is. That is a good idea. Yeah, we're gonna have to see about like the pillars and counters. I believe some of those will maybe have to be, um, some of those will have to be white. Like I think the pillars would be a good idea if those are white. Oh yeah, let's go to plants because there's definitely some plants I would want to showcase in here like our blue or white Monstera. I'd like to have a Shiflera in here. You know what? I think this one might be really nice back here. So like this. Maybe. Or even like the... Ooh, which does that? Which pot does it come in? Yeah, so like this customization. I like that. A little bit of green there. And then I'm gonna need to check. I can't unfortunately exit this and walk around, but you know, this could be great if you can just like squeeze through there somehow. Oh, what about this? If we shift this forward a little bit and then we put some boxes behind, I don't know if you can walk through here. You might be able to though. And then that gives like the right vibe for, you know, the back kind of area. Um, as in wall mounted, I definitely wanna have a clock here. Uh, I, I mean, I don't want like the people that like want to go here to kind of have to pay attention to the clock, but still, you know, if you've got like a course or something, 
that might be fine. And then um, we also might go for like an exit sign uh, just because, you know, we are still working with like a uh, an official establishment here. I don't know. I mean, it's not really sideways, right? So like maybe this will have to go somewhere over here. We'll see. We'll see. I just maybe want to make sure that that's put in. So it kind of gives you this this more official looking vibe. All right, that's a little bit too much going on in this one area. So the plant partition definitely wouldn't go here. The Monstera also wouldn't go here. Um, this one might just be like a a plant that goes like, I don't know, somewhere else, <laughs> somewhere else, you know? Okay, miscellaneous things. Um, <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if we go for like the drink machine, this would have also been great. You know, have some stack bottle crates that can just be used to like add to that kind of get a drink quickly kind of vibe. <laughs> but I'm not sure that's great. Oh, we should do some Zen cushions, like stack Zen cushions. I'll get the boxy stool out. I'll get the wooden stool out because I'm surely going to use that. There we go. So like these just somewhere in front with like a nice little fabric on them. I feel like that gives a good coastal vibe. Maybe with this one here, right there maybe, or even completely in the corner, kind of like this. And then these, oh wait, uh, these here, we'll see where to put them. Yeah, uh, I also want to try, what about that little um, railing thing uh, with the rope, like the rope fancy thing? Do I have that? Yeah, I don't think I do. Oh, that would be maybe cute, like, over here, though. It's a little shorter than that, I'm pretty sure. Or actually, like, here? Yeah, I'm gonna get one of those Rayleigh things. Let me look up what that's called. All right, maybe sort by alphabetical, and then let's see if I actually don't have it or if I just didn't know where to look. Oh, yeah, no. Robot rock. No, I don't have it. Okay, well, rope partition might be a good idea, though. So I'm going to keep that in mind for, like, maybe just right here. Um, I believe it's, like, maybe just half a tile wide, too. So that would still give you enough room to kind of go places. All right, and then go through... Let's go through some, like, miscellaneous things and think about what makes sense. So I would definitely... I'm already thinking... I'm already thinking about the clipboard. You know, it maybe would be nice to have an infused water dispenser or some type of other kind of, like, snacks, maybe. If we're not going to do the, the snack machine stuff, it might be fun to have some snacks. We can also maybe go ahead and just provide, like, a coffee cup somewhere. Oh yeah, maybe some frosted pretzels, you know, like the good kind of snack food. Like that really just makes you want to go here just for the snacks alone. And then when, once you're here, you might also do something for, for yourself. You know, there's kind of a few things here that could be very awesome. Oh, what if we remove the books and we do like a counter instead, like one of those covered counter things, you know? And so this is kind of a snack bar, but it's, you know, it's more sophisticated looking, if you will. Oh yeah, this one here. Covered counter and then maybe do that in white and brown. Now imagine the pillars to be white, okay? Um, because I think that would definitely be much better in this case. And then the sofa part would be further to like the front. Not the front right, but the front left. Um, and then this would be kind of like the snack area. You know, so you got like an infused water dispenser and there's maybe some frosted pretzels here. And then we would do, I mean, the boxy stool is kind of a good idea. The boxy stool with, I don't know, <laughs> cupcakes, you know? I need something higher there, I think. Yeah, and then this could be put on like a little like table in front of the sofa. I think that might be a good idea. Alrighty, we're continuing to go through the items. Drinks, also kind of a good idea. I like the coffee, though. Um... Okay, so obviously we got the shell lamp. Oh, you know what? We could put down the shell speaker as our music piece or the portable record player also would be quite nice in like a blue, depending on, on where. I mean, because this could, but you kind of see it. That's like the issue, but this could be kind of, you know, uh, I'm, I'm actually not sure because I like the partition right there. I don't think I want to do like the partition over here because that's quite like big. Yeah, no, I liked it over here. Oh, we should have an entrance mat. Yeah, we're going to worry about rugs later though. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. But so any of these could be kind of cute. 
Alrighty, and then I mean, okay, so towel basket in like the white customization would be pretty fantastic in general for this entire establishment. I like the lilies. I like them being maybe like a bit of a of an item somewhere here. The coat hanger could be like maybe right there. Or somewhere just along along the side. It doesn't need to be uh it doesn't need to have like a main a main uh a main attraction kind of uh okay the coat hanger see i'm kind of unsure about now maybe like a plant there instead would be better and then this here could be used as decoration somewhere here or maybe it's also maybe too narrow around the bottom that kind of also has like a nice just distribution there's too many items now, and I feel like we're all confused which ones are staying and which ones are going. <laughs> okay, well, um, what else would we need for a spa? By the way, also, sorry if this episode is going to be one that's a, like a little bit longer again, but I would like to have these interiors in like one, one episode. I, I don't want to split them up, I think, into multiple ones. Okay, the clipboard I think is fantastic. I think the clipboard might be a really nice idea. Uh, so I've got this in like maybe blue or white or brown with a to-do list or wait, maybe this one here, the name list. Yeah, that's good. And then I think we're going to do, we might stick with blue just because the counters are already wooden. And then it might be somewhere here or more like on the side. And then that's something a little bit taller. I did get some books. I like the office materials as well, but I think those will be like a back room type of thing. We won't do like a cash register, right? No, I, I think we won't do that. We can definitely do something like this here. So either humidifier, fragrance sticks, aroma pot, fragrance diffuser, somewhere like maybe on top of this too. So it kind of like gives this, this spa type of vibe. I like this. This is another option, just these sticks here. Blue or black could work, I think. We also have this one. I don't like the shape of it though, the way it blows up to the side. I'm not a big fan of that one. Sticks look quite cute, but I think maybe somewhere else. And then I think the aroma pot is just, first of all, too it's too dangerous being so close to the magazines. So maybe this actually uh, also comes in blue, but I think this blue kind of looks a little bit more cheap. So we're gonna go for, we're gonna go for the white. And then maybe there's just going to be some more books. Although these things are now very far apart, like on the counter, because they're all relatively narrow things. I wish you could put things like in between because you, these, since these are counters and they're like all separate items, you can't put something on like the middle part, which that kind of sucks, uh, but it's okay. Oh, sea globe or bottle chip might be fine or might be fun. The sea globe just is like, again, the fish is supposed to swim freely, right? So we're gonna, we're just gonna say it's like a fake one. Oh, that's kind of cute though. I actually kind of like that. It does look like a fake fish though. It really looks like a kind of, oh, or the bottle chip. Wait, the bottle chip might be really cute. Okay, what about it? removing this? Wow, I like how the steamy bits kind of just go like all over the place. That's kind of fun. Ooh, the bottle chip here might be cute. Also, by the way, I'm sorry if this is like getting super confusing with what things I'm actually keeping and what things I'm not. This is usually how it goes for my interior decorating though. Like I'll just drag everything out that I might potentially use. And then we'll kind of just like go, go from there and it will kind of end up being super messy. Okay, yeah, not a big fan of that over here. I think I like the bottle chip there or the sea globe. Sea globe, you know, or whichever isn't used could could also be like somewhere in the foreground or something. <laughs> the sea globe is so derpy looking. I love I love that. Right, let's sort through some stuff. I would like this to be maybe books or my other thought was what if this is like the record player or the lamp? Oh, this is very big. Yeah, because books might be an option. Books, I think, totally would work. Um, so those would be like the save option in a way. The lamp, the lamp, I feel like is also quite out there, but very spa looking. 
So I really do like that one. I will remove or like I'll remove this to the side and we'll do the books here. I might have to also, um, I'd love to be able to place something on top of this, by the way. Um, I might have to remove the, sh the towels. And I mean, we'll have to choose a sofa. Okay, lamp over here. Also so random looking. And then... I mean, that's like a good place to store things because you can't quite see them. Ah, wait, maybe like something here, though, could be kind of cute. What if I get a wooden stool to put this on and then put that next to the plant or halfway in front? Oh, halfway in front is not bad. OK, I would like to do the customizing of this also. And then I honestly believe the shell in front of this could be kind of cute. I I believe I might want to use the lamp somewhere else, although that is very pretty. Um, or the lamp in front of it, and then maybe the shell over there. It's just very vibrant because it's turn. I mean, we could turn it off in the final thing. You can also check because we could go ahead and just turn down the light a lot. And maybe make it more yellow or orange for like a bit of a softer glow. I don't think I want to do like blue because that makes it quite cold looking. Maybe like a tiny little bit of an orange glow. I mean, that kind of could work. And then this on top of, hold on, maybe this on top of this here. That's too high. Um, something much lower, maybe just like a singular Zen cushion. And then I also might have to adjust the custom designs I'm using because I feel like I'm constantly using the same one right now. But I quite like the coastal vibe it gives you because that's not bad. You know, like just include a couple more shells. All right. And then maybe let's focus on this left side for a second here so I can actually you know, get rid of a couple of things that aren't needed. So what we could do, um, I was just thinking, we could have the plant partition, maybe like this, or even like half, like half in front of the door like this. And then that would be maybe the, the hangout area, you know, right in front of the snacks. That's pretty good. I believe we're going to remove the lamp probably this way. That would, that made sense with the, with the books being there, but I think with this counter, Maybe not so much. Okay, how about if this is the Monstera then? Okay, not great with the shells there. What about the shell partition just being back here? Oh yeah. Yeah, maybe we get rid of the plant partition and then we use, did I get rid of my Monstera? I think I did. And then we get rid of, we, we get the Monstera back and we put this one by the entrance or kind of like next to this. Or kind of like this, and then this here will be like our record player. Actually, no, we don't need the record player because we could use a shell here. All right, so which sofa looks the best from, from the back here? If we do that. Or, you know, also totally would be fine if we, if we do the sofa like this. It would be like beneath the window in like this one tiny corner here. But maybe that's okay. Or like this. I mean, with everything going on, I might use the solid colored one here because that has the calmest kind of look from behind, you know? And then I just want to try with like a little sofa table or it might be turned sideways again. I'm trying to figure that out right now. <laughs> I don't know which I prefer though. Okay, here are the low tables. So I was thinking either the Nordic could be good because that one comes in like a white. It's quite big though. Like it looks just very big too. The vintage low table also could work because it comes in this white, but it's like a very, yeah, I don't think the vibes kind of fit for that. So maybe we go for the wooden one. The wooden low table also has kind of these spa vibes for me. So like that could work in white. Is this sofa like a little bit higher? Yeah. Okay, well, question. I know that there is like this, this sofa here. I think this also comes in blue and white. That also could work. Oop. 
Or what if we use this over here sideways as like almost an extension of the buffet? Oh, that could also be a good idea. And then we do snacks here, maybe a plant here for something a tiny bit taller. And then maybe just like a Moroccan footrest over there with like the cup of coffee on it or the Moroccan footrest just like there. Or we could do like a little seating group. I'm gonna have to check the sofa out once I've actually acquired all the things and like put it into my own house like this with like the window. But um, we can also do this maybe. Coffee can go here. I'm not sure if there's like maybe another customization I prefer. I think that's good. Or it could be like another item, you know? And then let me just maybe get like a white round rug. Those are my favorite. So I always use the round rugs for a lot of things to kind of group these together. I'm gonna remove these sofas here. And then I currently am not using any of this stuff either. I think it would be good though to use those. Maybe this will be brought over here and maybe on a round stool to kind of balance out the Zen cushion that I've already got going on. Yeah, and then maybe the fish bowl. Oh, or the sticks instead. Oh, the sticks could also be nice for like this, this area. So we don't have the, the smokes going up, the puffy smoke. Yeah, and I think the fish bowl might not have the best moment here anymore. Or, you know, the lamp would go over here. No, I think I like the lamp. I like the distribution of the shell items, I think, if I put it like this. Now, I guess like this could be something else. But the distance between the magazine rack and like whatever item I'm, I'm going to put there is going to be horrendous. Unless I use something that pretty much covers like the entire tile. And like even that has quite a bit of distance. Do you see that? That's not great. So I think we might have actually leave that open. Um, and then we might just have something here. Okay, so these will be removed. I'll keep the sticks maybe. Not sure if these should all be moved a little bit further in. No. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use something there. I was just thinking about that Zen bench. Always this like entry, entryway kind of item as well. But then it makes the Monstera kind of have to scoot out of the way almost. Okay, I'm gonna do another uh, coastal fabric on this. Same one as always. <laughs> Maybe something a little bit lighter this time. Actually not a terrible idea though. And then maybe the Monstera would go here after all. I don't know. I want to be careful not, cause like this could also still be an item right in front of the, the screen here. I want to be careful though and like let you still pass, which I don't know if you can at this point. And I think this is just going to cover too much. Uh, I mean, we could put it here in front of the screen. And that's kind of, actually that is kind of cute, but also maybe kind of random, you know? Yeah, maybe kind of random. I might put it there. Uh, and then we will try around in the final thing and see kind of how that looks. Uh, let's go into the rugs again because I feel like there is some more spaces where I'd like a rug. Um, so this could be kind of a cute entrance mat, but um, compared to like the blue on that, definitely not great. We could do the white one as like an entrance mat or I, I do like to use this one here. Wish that came, I wish you could customize rugs. Like at least give us a couple of options, you know, because some of the shapes are amazing but then the um the different colors that come for them are not great because i feel like that's also not not perfect yeah i might have to go with the white wood and then i feel like i'd still like to go for another ivory mat over here <sighs> we have the lacy rug we've got the brown uh, rug and then obviously i mean we could do like a shell actually maybe not <laughs> and then there are these like big ones that come in blue I feel like the kill him style has quite this nice uh, spa or like calm type of vibe. We have the shaggy one. The shaggy one is also quite nice. But these are just, these are just giant. I think maybe the, we'll actually be able to use these better in like other parts because this is just, 
It's tying together areas that shouldn't be tied together, you know? I like the shanty map, but not really the vibe, I guess. Yeah, this is a very open space right here, and I don't know how to feel about that. I might also kind of move this like that. You kind of have to walk around the Monstera, which I don't know if that's kind of nice, but um, I might like that better. I don't know. I keep going back and forth on that Monstera and I can't even really explain why. <laughs> okay, and then I mean we've got a couple of um of spaces that can still maybe use like a miscellaneous item. I don't think our fish like sea globe thing will happen after all because the spaces I've got available are just like a little bit awkward and I don't think I like the rug like this. Actually, don't I have tassels? I could put down like a, a custom design type of, of rug um, with like tile mats, but I have to try that also once I've actually put it in my own room because I can't try that right now. Okay, I do have the sticks, right? Okay. I mean, fragrance diffuser and like aroma pot could still be an item. Very close to the plant. Is that safe? I don't know if that's safe. <laughs> I don't know if it is. I wish there was like a stack of towels like this. Because I mean, it's it's fabrics, which is nice, but it's not exactly what I want. This could be either more magazines. Oh, that's like hanging off the side. That is not great. Uh, how about this towel basket? Maybe as the singular item. Oh, or we could also do another round rug kind of like there, maybe. I don't know. The rugs are always a thing. I That's why I always do use just like the same ones because I, I try, but I never like them. I always try using different ones, but I never really like them. Okay, now I would just need maybe some wall things. Um, and then I definitely have to check and put these all into place and see if I even like them at all. Uh, but yeah, okay, so what is spa like? Now, obviously, we could use the... Um, the bulletin board or like the cork board like cork board like i said earlier with like that custom design on it it does come in white and in blue so this theme is perfect for the cork board so i think we we definitely should uh should use that so this one here and then i mean i guess we could maybe put that right there you know so we'll get one of those cork boards for sure okay and then this is the door and obviously this is the window uh, there's not going to be that much happening there. I think I'd like some stuff here, though. Um, the macrame would be pretty cute. Maybe, like, right by the door like this. Oh, a flower wreath. Like, a shell wreath or the ship wheel or something could also work. Oh, yeah, that kind of is cute. I do have that outside already, uh, like, on my door. But it, it can't hurt, right? And then, I mean, it would be nice if maybe we have something like this, as though we're, like, a very good spa, you know? We're just a very good spot. Maybe like here. Is that too obvious? Oh, maybe that's not enough in our color scheme though. Hmm. I thought it might be fun. I mean, there's other ways to express that though. We could also put those, this here, the formal paper. I think a formal paper would definitely make sense. Somewhere here, you know, we're like a registered kind of uh, trustworthy, trustworthy business. So that may be there. And then the shell wreath goes somewhere over on this side with like maybe a a picture. You know, like this picture with white frame, maybe something else. We could do the birds, we could do another uh another poster. So something along those lines, maybe. I don't know. The picture, the picture frame is always a little bit of an interesting, interesting thing, but um it might work. And then maybe over here, where people like sit, it could just have like some flowers or something the floral swag or maybe i always like using the wall planter and like different uh like stagger them differently so i use i i like to use them in like a group of three which we could do here it does come in like a light blue but i prefer the white i think and then we can have one down here one here maybe one here so we'll do like three of these and then maybe just on on this side there there'll be like a floral swag in white 
Yeah, and I don't know if there's going to be something above this. Oh, we could definitely do a wall fan. I love using wall fans because these make the plants wobble. So I think that should happen. Okay, white or blue? Okay, since it's against the white wall, could be this light blue. All right, these will have to be in like a different position, obviously. But kind of like this, so all the walls are decorated. And then let's see if there are some lamps that I'd like to use. I mean, we can definitely put something above the reception. Uh, either I like the milk glass. What does the Moroccan light one look like? I think, yeah, that also comes in like a white customization with like blue lights, though. It's pretty, but I don't think it's the vibe. Yeah, we could have something here, although that does glitch a little bit into the flower wreath or like flower garland situation there. Ooh, or this could have been nice, like a ceiling fan just in the, in the middle. Ceiling fan is kind of awesome, but it doesn't wobble the plants. Maybe this is going to be for the specific rooms instead, you know? Oh, this comes in like mint. Okay, I need to save that information for later. <laughs> okay, and then maybe we just do some ornithopters, you know, because the, those give me quite this like calm and cutesy vibe, so. Or the bird mobile also. These you see a little bit better if you put them sideways. And they do move a little bit more, so I do love using these. And they come in like blue and white, I think. It has kind of this coastal vibe too, you know, because they're kind of like seagulls. Which I don't think you would want inside, let's be honest. But, you know. Okay, but like so far, so good, I believe. Let me go ahead and check my custom designs. Because we can still kind of change a few of these, maybe. Yeah, and then I might want to check out what it looks like if the pillars are white. I don't mind the counter being brown because we also still have, you know, the shell items and we have that um, like screen thing in the back, which I think has, you know, those brown vibes. But um, we might have to check the others out and then from there kind of decide if anything else needs to be like darker or whatever. And then my next step now will be to kind of get all these items if I don't have them already and reassemble this in my house. And I think I will just hand this over to slightly future Moline to show you like the finished walkthrough of this room. And now here we are. I've assembled everything. I will need your help in the comments though because I can't decide between either the wooden pillars or the white pillars. Now the counter in white I don't really love because it has this like... I don't know, it has this like top part that's more like gray or whatever. So I don't really like that one, but I like both pillars, I think. I can't really decide between them. And then if you stand here and you walk around, it kind of is like this. I decided to kind of put the round rug here. It's maybe a little weird, but I wasn't feeling the others. And then opted for like the lacy rug here. Didn't like the um, little rope partition, so I removed that again. And then apart from that, you pretty much know everything. Here are the wall planters I talked about. You do see the birds when you stand like this, which I think is quite nice. Um, there's like the books in the background. Here is the uh, cork board notice, notice board type of thing. Um, the decorations we put up here, unfortunately, you know, the simple pillars definitely, or the pillars in general kind of uh, glitch into it. And then I actually ended up putting the post-its on this picture as well, because I thought that it kind of looked fine and decided to kind of go for this. The only thing I might like put this floral swag a tile higher and maybe this a tile more over to the side. Maybe that seems more appropriate in terms of the height. Um, yeah, and then you can kind of walk through everything. So here, unfortunately, you do have a little squeezy spot, but apart from that, you can walk to that door and you can also squeeze through here. And I think that's kind of a nice vibe, especially if, you know, the back area is going to be like a little bit of a storage uh, storage bit. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on the pillars in the comments below and I will definitely have to get a music track that kind of fits the spa vibes. But apart from that, we have a room decorated, which I think is kind of nice. Thank you all so much for watching today. Thank you so much for watching this entire week of Let's Plays um, and for being so excited about it. That definitely helped me be very excited about it as well. So thank you all so, so much. Um, I do hope that you enjoyed the episodes and I hope that it was like good variety. We'll continue on Tuesday. I think with the outside of the spa, actually we'll uh, work on a bunch of fillers and get this entire area around the house to be um, some would complete. I feel like we were not going to be able to do it in one episode, but you know, you know the drill. And with that, I will once again say thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing time until I hopefully see you in my next video. Bye everyone.